Now it's time for our last pre-final before we head into the lunch break and it's DD2 and DD2 Masters. Here is your starting grid. Pole position, it's David Outlaeschner from in the 465. He'll be joined by Martin van Leeuwen from the Netherlands on the front row. It's the Netherlands and the Czech Republic on row number two. Enzo Boll and Jakob Bezel. Patrick Snolz Lokmelis from Latvia and Finland's Axel Sarniala on row three. Martin Henkel Morrison and Carl Gustav Borgard make it an all Danish row number four. Denmark's Erasmus van der Boe and DD2 Masters uh, leader after the ranking after heats, Dennis Tum will line up on row five and Tum will start from pole position in DD2 Masters. Peter Bezel and Billy Biliainen from the Czech Republic and Finland line up on row six with Christoph Kapitan, Philip Moitsi, Maxim Sechurko, Yannick Nielsen, Jules Cousin, Maxim Dirix, Manuel Tenchet, Leonardo Bacaglini, Mar uh, then we got Martin Stankiewicz, Victor Frospe, Nicola Pico, Karl Klebo, Nico Guillaume, uh, Igor Mukin, Michael Becker, Jericho Kalainen, Sebastian Schuh, Ilias Kaliakmanis, Tony Hogg and Camille Kubera rounding out the 32 strong grid of course no Lucas Pemo he will be a non-starter as he has had his appendix out as of yesterday and I know for a fact Lucas you are still watching I'm expecting a DM on, on my personal Instagram very very shortly but glad to hear that you're feeling better my friend and we'll see you for the next hopefully for the next round at Val d'Argenton so 14 minutes plus an additional lap for this one Pla uh, for both for both classes And good to see my friend Bartosz from Karting Report, who's cheering on Mr. Altleishner. We've got Abdullah Al Fayez. We've got uh, Roger Young from Chinese Taipei in the island of Taiwan. Have you got a beer in your hand yet, Roger? Because I'm sure it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so please don't forget, if you want to show your support, please feel to do so. But you've got to make sure you are a subscriber to the channel and a big thank you to the I think we are edging ever closer to 700 subscribers on the YouTube channel currently at 683 so the drivers are in the tram lines revs rise are we ready are we steady DD2 and Masters pre final gets going good start by Outlaishna as well as Enzo Bolt the inside line seems to be uh, favourable here at Karting Genk as it's three wide coming out of turn number two some drivers using the runoff area you can use that on the opening lap as Tony Hogg decides to hold fire and wait for everyone to get through. And it's two, three abreast. It's going to be side by side at certain points of the circuit. One driver puts two wheels on the grass on the left hand side of the Europolan as they filter their way through turn number two. As all Martin Stankiewicz gets a little bit of a hip check coming through out of turn number seven and into turn eight. But he, uh, with his karting prowess, we saw it out of Wackersdorf in the wet when he when he and five other DD2 Masters drivers decided to go out on slicks and he won by 25 plus seconds. Outlaishner, however, leads the way. Enzo Boll, Martin Van Looyen, and there is Axel Sarniala, who's just gone up the inside of Patrick Snolz, Lock Mellis, but the Latvian back up into fourth position. And now it's a lead change. Enzo Boll through on David Outlaishner. Van Leeuwen holding station in third with 12 minutes and 51 seconds still on the timer remaining. Martin Henkel Mortensen currently finding himself in sixth position behind Axel Sarniala and Patrick Snolz Lock Mellis. And at the moment, Dennis Tum is still leading DD2 Masters, currently P10 at the moment. As now there's a move up the inside through the exit of turn eight. Van Leeuwen up the inside of Outlaishner. That's for P2. Lock Mellis leading the train behind. As a stamp on the a, an authoritative stamp on the brakes from Van Leeuwen to stop. Outlaishna from getting past through turn 10. Now a little bit further behind. That is Jakob Bezel on Axel Sarniala. Martin Henkel Morrison is now in fifth and is closing in on Patrick Snolz. Lock Menestelis Tomb up the inside. That would have been on Philip Moitzi from Austria. He got through. And there's several carts between Dennis Tomb and Nicola Pico, who's now currently second in DD2 Masters, as uh, Axel Sarniola gets through on Jakob Bezel through turn six. 
That allows Carl Gustav Borgard to get through as round the outside. That's two, uh, that's three carts nearly into turn seven. And Jules Cousin's cart is stricken on the inside of turn number eight. Dennis Toom managed to get through all of that, but they're all wrestling uh, with the steering wheels. And Dennis Toom now ahead of Rasmus Vendelbo, it looks like. And Dennis Toom now up into ninth. He's got the 422 of Pedebezel behind him. As Rasmus Vendelbo has got, oh my goodness me, and someone's off. And that was Nicola Picot. Hip checked into the phone barriers off of the entrance out of the entrance onto the circuit. And there is Maxime Dirick straight on. Straight on. He's going to have to wait. Our disaster for Maxime Dirick. He got himself up into 16th position. And inadvertently, he's just, he's just going at to, uh, a third speed to let everyone pass. And now everything's closing up, going through into turn seven. All that I think, yeah, Maxim Dirix had an RS competition cast up his inside through turn seven. They both narrowly got away with that. But at the front of the field, Enzo Bolt is trying to pull away. But keep your eyes on fourth and fifth position because here comes the cavalry. It's Patrick Snolls Lock Mellis and the 2018 Euro Trophy DD2 champion back here for a one off return, Martin Henkel Mortensen. Top six were covered by 1.6 seconds after four laps of racing. Enzo Boll has not only just got the lead by nearly four tenths, he's got the fastest lap of the race so far, 56.210 seconds. So Jules Cousin out of the race, Martinez Tankiewicz. Uh, well, Maxim Dirix and, well, Nicola Picot, I'm not too sure if the left front of the 517's Tony Kart uh, might have suffered some steering damage or maybe possibly a track rod. So, nine minutes and 18 seconds to go. Plus an additional lap. Enzo Boll, his lead now is six tenths. Outlachner is within two and a half tenths. And Maxim Sechurko, the young Lithuanian who last year was a junior, currently running in P11 behind Petr Bezel from the Czech Republic, has just put in the fastest lap of the race, 55.742. He was running with Tomas Rudokas from the Lithuanian Birol ART squad last year. Maxim Dirix is out of the race. And I thought as much Nikola Pico will also be out at this moment. We are down to 29 drivers top five still covered by 1.6 seconds and this quintet have stayed out of harm's way Sebastian Schuh and Manuel Atencher ran at the top 20 Bold still has a lead but how much how how much has it been truncated by as Axel Sarniola now Maxim Sichurko the fastest lap changed four times within five seconds on the timing screen. It's changed again. Victor Frostbay, fastest out there. 54.768. And where is Victor Frostbay? 17th at the moment. But first, and we now see a change for second. Outlation has gotten through, and it was just over a second between the top five. Lock Mellis and Mortensen have a chance. They have a chance of being in the top three. And now Lock Malice goes for the move up the inside of Enzo Boll. He runs wide and Martin Henkel Mortensen ran the outside of him through turn number 11. Shades of 2018 from Martin Henkel Mortensen. That was textbook. He saw the gap. He used it fully to his advantage. And now Lock Malice and Mortensen have just gone. Right, let's go for it. And Outlation has got the lead back after lap number seven. He's got it through on Martin Van Leeuwen through turn number two on lap eight. So 29 drivers still running, the last of which is Lithuania's Martinas Tankiewicz. And he is making his way out of the final corner as we speak, as our leaders make their way through turn number eight. Yannick Nielsen for RS competition, now up into 13th position. The fastest lap of the race now is in the hands of Austria's Philip Moitzi, who's currently running P8 
behind Carl Gustav Borgard in sixth and Axel Sarniala in seventh. Six and a half minutes still to go. Altlechner leads overall ahead of Van Leeuwen, Loch Mellis, Mortensen and Boll. Dennis Toom still leads and he's 11th. His nearest competitor is Christoph Capita all the way down in 19th position. The top five were covered by just eight tenths. And you can see now that the gap is closing. Carl Gustav Borgard has just put in the fastest lap of the race, 54.3 seconds. And the gap between Enzo Boll and Carl Gustav Borgard after the last lap was, uh, what was it? Just over seven tenths. The ultimate class of the Rotax racing family is DD2 as Enzo Boll tries to get up the inside of Martin Henkel Mortensen. But the Dane, filled with experience, goes to look towards the inside as now there's going to be a lead change and a change for second. Outlation are demoted down to third position as Van Leeuwen hits the front. Lock Mellis now second. Boll now fourth behind Outlechner as Martin Henkel Mollison drops down to fifth place. Axel Sarniala now gets ahead of Carl Gustav Borgard. Now, did he just put it round the outside of him? I very much think he did. So the chess games in DD2 and DD2 Masters continues. The top 10 covered by 2.4 seconds after nine laps and there's more dramas behind and I think I just saw Maxim Sacherko and one of the KSCA Sodi carts have a drama as now Enzo Boll up the inside of David Altlechner for second uh, for third place Martin Henkel Morrison was also looking up the inside but didn't have the opportunity to get through as now oh Carl Gustav Borgard goes backwards Martin Henkel Morrison is rally crossing off the exit of turn number two Oh my goodness. And then someone has just shortcutted, and that was Manuel Tenshirt. Probably didn't have anywhere to go, to be completely truthful. But Carl Gustav Borgard fired it in, and now there's the change for the race lead. And now it's changed again because Patrick Solslock Bellis has just spun around. He's been hit by Enzo Boll, and it's caused absolute pandemonium. That was incredibly crazy. I think it's just the wet curb, it spun Lock Mellis around. Enzo Boll had nowhere to go. Lock Mellis was up in the air. And now it's all kicking off. Because Martin Van Leeuwen has got a comfortable lead. Second, it's Outlechner. Third, it is still Enzo Boll. Fourth, it's the 421. And that is Philip Moitzi. Sarniala, fifth. Peter Bessel. Peter Bessel goes for a spin off of turn number two. Now these conditions look to be, might be a little bit greasier. I'm not too sure. I can't see any sort of like significant rainfall happening because they're all on slick tires. Those conditions are getting very, very treacherous. We have got three minutes to go, plus an additional lap of this race. Martin Henkel Mortensen struggles again. There are drivers going off the circuit. And I'm going to have a look at the lap times. Well, the last lap from Martin Van Leeuwen, our race leader, was a 54.979 as Enzo Boll. Those curbs are definitely wet. And he's, he's on tiptoes. He's like treading on eggshells. Coming out of turn number, uh, turn number 10. So Van Leeuwen's lap time was a 54.9 last time around. And it was, a, oh, the lap times are really, really increasing. We've just done a one minute 6.6 .6 by the race leader. The conditions seem to be changing. And I've just seen outside of the commentary box window, there is a shower of rain. So that has changed the complete dynamic of this race. The drivers are going to have to be very, very careful when it comes to power application and also the braking. 
They're going to have to just weather this shower that is happening right now. I just opened the window on the commentary box and saw that it is coming down. That's why everyone was going off circuit. Maxim Sichurko losing out in terms of a position to, that looks to be, that is the 421. Philip Moitzi. They are just going to have to gently get themselves around. You can see with Patrick Knowles, Lock Mellis, he was putting the power down and the back end was stepping out to the right-hand side. So it is about throttle modulation. Red flag has been called with the weather conditions shifting as they have done. I am not at all surprised. A very shrewd call by uh, the race director and the race control team. Red flag with just over a minute to go has been called here in the DD2 and the Masters pre-final. So with the red flag called at the moment, it's Martin Van Leeuwen that leads the way. David Altleishner, Enzo Boll, Philip Moitzi, Maxim Sichurko, who ran at the top five. Axel Sarniala, Patrick Snolz, Lock Mellis, Peter Bezel. Leading in DD2 in ninth position is Dennis Thum, uh, Carl Gustav Borgard, Yannick Nielsen, Rasmus Vendelbo, Nicolas Guillaume, uh, Leonardo Bacaglini, Martin Henkel Mortensen. As it looks like they are going to be... Uh, yeah, so you can see that there is rainfall in the air and it's coming down. And that is going to be the race called. We are well over 75% of the race time. So there are your results provisionally. Martin Van Leeuwen ahead of David Altleishner, Enzo Bolb, Philip Moitzi, Maxim Sacherko, Axel Sarniala, Patrick Snolz, Lock Mellis, Peter Bezel, Dennis Thum, Carl Gustav Borgard, Yannick Nielsen, Rasmus Van der Bo, Nicolas Guillaume, and we've got Leonardo Bacaglini, Martin Henkel Morrison, Carl Klebor, Vili Vili Einen, Victor Frostbait, Michael Becker, Jere Kokalainen, Manuel Tenchet, Sebastian Shu, Igor Mukin, Ilyas Kalyakmanis, Tony Hogg, Jakob Bezel, Christoph Capitan being the last to cross the line with 12 laps completed at the red flag stoppage. Camille Kubera, a few laps uh, on, on the same lap, finishing 28th. Retirees, Martinez Tankiewicz, Maxim Dirix, Nicolas Picot and Jules Cousin. So the last pre-final of the opening round of the season was set to get underway. DD2 and DD2 Masters ready and revved up to go racing. The drivers would then make their way through into turn number 12 and go racing for their pre-final. The anticipation built and as the drivers built speed, the red lights went out and we went racing. It was a good start by the pole sitter, David Altleishner, with Enzo Boll following him close behind. And then Martin Henkel Morrison managing make, to make up a few positions. Some drivers would uh, try and filter their way through. Everyone getting through into turn two very nicely in the opening, tour, in the opening lap. And then this moment here, as Maxim Dirix found himself sideways, Nicolas Picot, the left front being caught out with the foam barrier promptly empty, uh, ending the Frenchman's race on the spot. Maxim Dirix would also go for a spin after it was a bit close for comfort as the drivers would make their way through. Maxim Dirix was making his way up the order but then this moment here he was sideways trying to hold the brakes and then would go straight on and use the shortcut. He would then well, with the front wheels locking up, these do have front and rear braking systems on them, but he would have to wait for a lot of drivers to go by. The top five started to close together at some points, getting within less than nine tenths. But this move from Martin Henkel Morrison, one of the weekend, around the outside of turn 11 at Enzo Boll, when Patrick Snolz and Lock Mellis went for third and got past the Dutchman. The lead would change several times over the race, including this moment where Martin Van Leeuwen and Patrick Snolz Lock Mellis would get past the 465 of David Altleishner. Enzo Boll would then make it up to third position. Martin Henkel Morrison thought he saw a window of opportunity, but that was rapidly closed by the 465 from Poland. And 
then going into turns one and two, it was this moment here that started to cause the chaos and it might have been when the rain started because Carl Gustav Borgard was backwards, Martin Henkel Mortensen was off the track and ended up going rally crossing on the exit of turn number two through no fault of his own. More drivers would go off the circuit, including the 423 of the Czech Republic's Jakob Bezel. And that was when it was the start of the deterioration of the conditions. Patrick Snolls Lock Mellis would make his way past race leader Martin Van Leeuwen going through into turn seven. But the conditions would catch out Lock Mellis and Enzo Boll would have nowhere to go. Lock Mellis was up in the air. Outlation had got through. Sarniala would have to go grass tracking. He got caught out by the conditions as well. And then it all started a chain reaction of events. Going into turn number two, we would also see this moment here. And this was for the 422. And that was for Peder Bezel, spinning in front of Maxim Sucherko from Lithuania. As Dennis Toom leading the way in DD2 Masters would calmly get on with the business at hand. And then as the conditions worsened, the drivers unable to brake in the conventional manner. And it was like treading on eggshells. There was Axel Sarniala going off at the exit uh, on the entrance into turn number six. But with just over a minute remaining, the red flag was called a very sensible decision for the sudden deterioration of the weather conditions here at Karting Genk with Martin Van Leeuwen and Dennis Toom being the respective provisional winners